Chopper right beneath me. Chopper right beneath me. What? Oh, chopper right beneath me. Chopper right beneath me. Uh, 8K with the fucking bean. Yeah, 3B smoking on that BG. Uh. Good, everybody. It is very hot. So my intro is not going to be there. It is really freaking. Let's keep it PG-13. It's really hot. But we got this review for you guys today. The spoiler review of Godzilla King of the Monsters. I know it's extra late that I'm doing this, but it's here now. Got my homie right here, Serpent. We going to give our take of the movie and actually spoil it and be honest about it, I guess. And we're just going to say how we feel about it. So, how are you going to do this? We can do it like from... I think we should start from the beginning to the end. Do you want to focus on the human characters? No, not really. All right, let, let's rack out the human plot and then we'll get to the monsters and shit. All right. So basically, let me try to remember this. The human plot, it was two different factions of humans. It was the humans that were, it was Monarch, the group that is seeking and searching for the monsters, King Kong, giant mammoth gorilla monster thingy, and the giant bug thingy. Different monsters. They revealed it was 17 monsters on the planet that was either, that was either asleep or awake that they found. Yeah. Monarch is into seeking monsters and they want to sort of not get rid of monsters but they want the monsters to live they want the monsters to coexist with us they want to find a way of peace but the government the gov the worldwide government's like nah we need you we don't trust you that much we want to put some you know military up in there we want to insert ourselves into your business so we can make sure that these monsters that you keep on hyping up saying they'll coexist with us and whatnot is legit. And then you got the other faction with the crazy yeah. blonde chick. The eco they call yeah. them eco terrorists. Yeah. They call them eco terrorists. So basically, the eco terrorists, I'm not sure if they was like religious or whatever, but they believe all the monsters should rule the planet. Yeah, like pretty much. Yeah, like they once used to. They pretty much want to yeah, they pretty much want the monsters to be in charge. I don't know why, but from what I was getting when they had the um the the what's the that device that the uh that the husband, so it was the family. It was the daughter, the mom, and the husband. The husband he had he had a rough draft of the specs. He tried it. It didn't go good. The mom had the specs. She improved it. And she improved the Orca device, the device that's used to communicate with these monsters. And the strangest thing was the monsters had, they put different sets of DNA within it to communicate. Like one DNA was from humans. They had some of Godzilla's DNA. Yeah, and they also took some from others, uh, like some of the dormant monsters as well. Right. So they had different creatures' DNAs to somehow Create a way to con to con to not con control. It um, seemed like they was controlling it. Not really. They were kind of like submit because they only applied to the alpha, and which was the alpha would would be a uh, Godzilla because right. he is the king of monsters, and yeah. And like from that, the eco terrorist kind of thought of that. If we could use the oracle to. To make them to submit and relax using the alpha frequency, which is Godzilla. And, yeah, so they wanted to use their frequency to change it into make them more hostile, more destructive. So destroying every civilization. And yeah, yeah, he they wanted more... them to destroy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the eco-terrorists wanted the monsters to destroy because there was a point in the movie where they talked about that... When Godzilla fought with the Mutos in 2014, their battle created more life. So it pop so the radiation that was given off in that fight gave uh, somehow brought about life, more trees, 
lush trees, uh, and all that junk. Yeah. It basically made wildlife. And the crazy wife, I hated her, to be honest. She was oh, 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 Why did you make me do it, huh? She was annoying. But the wife, she did have a point. Humans are the biggest contribution to why the planet is the way it is. If if there, if there's one root of the problem for the planet being trash and effed up, it's humans. So she did have a point. She I, I ain't gonna lie, she had a point. But they thought, let's let the monsters fight and do what they want. Let them destroy stuff and wreak havoc. And then they will create new life. Well, not create new life, but they will bring back nature to what it's supposed to be. So get rid of all the freaking cities and all that junk. Let them do away with it. And trees and lush green will grow in its place. Basically. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, it's from that kind of story... <laughs> It's basic, really basic, but, you know, it is a monster movie, and all I expected was monster fights. Now, I'll say this much. When the monsters began to fight, they had too much of showing humans. They showed us too much of human point of view looking at the monsters fight. They didn't show us enough of the monsters by themselves on the screen. Like, okay. like, remember when the lady was running from Ge these monsters were like ticked off by the littlest things ever. King Ghidorah was chasing after a fucking car. Remember he was chasing the truck? Uh, yeah. I was like, you want that tiny ass little truck with that one human inside of it? What? Well, no, she had the. No, oh, she had the Oracle though. Yeah. And it was a uh, the frequency was on. on when uh, did she? So she had it when she was driving in the car. Yeah. Okay. Well, the uh, I think let's it, just say a I, lot of the monsters like Rodan. They was very they was very ticked off by the lowest things. Okay. Like Rodan when he was like trying to. Now I get the jets was in his way and stuff, and he was trying to knock him out. But uh, I was like, those jets aren't really doing much to you. It, it's and then King Ghidorah, like remember when Godzilla? Um, you mean like in the, in the Arctic? Where yeah, it? and they was looking at the King Ghidorah was worried about the little humans in the helicopter. I'm like, you're so damn big. Why are you worried about these little pieces of food? What the freak? Like their 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 attention span was like ugh. they're such big creatures, and it's like the smallest thing took away their attention. That's the thing about it. It, it was just that. It I, it's it. I it wasn't something I hated, but it was something like, yeah. Maybe if there was like regular sized animals for the most part, like the average sized animal, then maybe yeah. But for them to be so big and they get like distracted by the smallest little thing, such as the lady in a car driving away and she's trying to redirect Ghidorah from her family. But I'll just say this. The dad, the mom, and the uh, daughter, their story was so annoying. I was like, why is this in a movie? The interesting uh, part was when the dad, the dad was interesting only when he talked about Godzilla to me. But when he started talking about other things with his family, I'm like, bruh, shut up about your damn family. There's a, there's Godzilla, Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra attacking the, uh, the world. Well, Godzilla's not attacking. He's defending his territory. Ghidorah was the one who infiltrated Godzilla's territory because he was a foreign... He was from another planet in yeah. space. And Godzilla was coming to defend his territory. Basically, Earth. So you can say Godzilla was a good guy, I guess. Anti-hero. But, you know... I the, the, the subplot with the family was annoying. But it wasn't bad but it was annoying it was like talk about godzilla more and the monsters get rid of this whole thing about the family i think they should have they could have like think about it they could have took out the daughter and kept the mom and dad they could have took out the daughter they didn't even have to have it be about family i think what they could have done the mom could have still done what she wanted to do she didn't need her son or her daughter to be her motivation to build the orca 
and let the monsters attack. She could have just been some lady who was working on both ends of the spectrum that was an eco-terrorist that loves wildlife and all this junk. And she uh, is an extreme eco-terrorist, but she happened to marry this guy to, I don't know, infiltrate Monarch and, you know, get in with Monarch so she can, I guess, flip-flop and be like a double agent, I guess. Okay, so... You like the twenty more, so you like the twenty fourteen version than the twenty nineteen version of Godzilla, then. In other words, because that was more about Godzilla and himself. It was a little less about the humans, like in their no, aspect of it. No, 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 no. no. I'd say for twenty fourteen, twenty fourteen showed not a lot of Godzilla. I wasn't mad at it. I wish they showed more, but it was kind of an homage to the OG Godzilla movie because Godzilla was kind of like not shown that much and they mainly focus on humans but i'll say this much for everybody you're going to get humans in these movies regardless but at the end of the day don't have stories that are irrelevant to what the monsters is doing to the world like don't don't try to show me a story about a family here this guy's like oh i need to save my family well everybody else on everybody else is in the same situation as you so what makes you so special but this is what they did they made that three. They made the family special. They made the mom join the eco terrorists. They made the dad work with Monarch, and the daughter just happened to be that. Just happened to be their mom and dad, and they was able to work that story in there. Uh, can we talk about Rodan though? Like how he seemed like Starscream, like from Transformers. Oh, bro, let's talk about. Ro- All right, let's talk about. <laughs> let's talk about Rodan, bro. I will say this: Rodan was freaking. Ghidorah hired the. Why did Ghidorah call up this trash, weak, boring monster to help him? He's like, hey, Rodan, you got my back? Yeah. I'm like, dude, he's trash. He got beat up by Mothra. Mothra stabbed him in the shoulder, and then he freaking. Uh, he fell over and almost died. Well, he didn't sure. die, but he, Mothra stabbed him. I'm like, man, this dude is trash. Where's giant gorilla elephant monster at? Where's turtle monster? Where's the crab? And what was that? What was the? There was a fusion of an octopus. Squiggly it was thing. that. It was that bug thing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> It was that bug. I know what you're that? talking about. It was that bug. No, it looked like a giant. It looked like a. It was. A, it looked like a daddy long legs. Okay, there you go. It was a giant scorpion crab thingy or whatever. But for me, I know you want to say something. You're thinking about Rodan, but I'll say this: Rodan was a trash right hand man. True, I agree. And, I mean, is there anything you want to say about Rodan? Well, he was supposed to be like. The demon of uh, in Spanish, she was supposed to be like some demon of uh, demon flyer, some bullshit, right? So, okay, we understand that like he popped out of a volcano. Yeah, I understand that half end of his ass was fucking molten lava or some shit. Yeah, and it, it looked like it was part of his body. Yeah, like the magma. That's his became new became part of his body. Yeah, it's his armor. It, Evolved with him. He, yeah, he evolved with it, cause he was sleep for. He was hibernating still. So who's to say whatever magma got into the radiation that was getting to whatever probably egg sac he was in, freaking added to his his birth and evolution. His birth and evolution. So I don't know, maybe, but his body was definitely part of the. He was part volcano monster. Yeah, but he looked tight. He looked tight. But his role was whack. That's what I'll say. <clears throat> yeah, other than that, yeah. Besides Rodan, we got Mothra. Um, Mothra is tight, bro. She shot them spider webs. Whoosh, whoosh. Dude, bro, she webbed them up. <laughs> Loki, I thought she would pull some Spider-Man shit. I'm not gonna lie. She did. But she did. <laughs> she did. You remember Ghidorah's heads? Bro, she, she webbed up his heads. I was like, bro, that's tight. She webbed up his heads. It looked funny. It looked goofy. But I was like, that's tight, bro. 
whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. She webbed up his heads. All three of them, too. I was like, dang, that was quick. Yeah, and, like, there was two, like, two parts. I, there was a couple parts I liked about Mothra. One, she was the queen of monsters, which is a nice, good turn that they took on it. Um, besides that, when she was coming a larva, she was from an egg, a larva, yeah. and the cocoon into what she is now, the beautiful butterfly, or moth. Um, all good factors of it, but at the exact same time, it seemed, when the humans took a part of it, I felt like the story, I felt like they kind of ruined it the most, but like, I understand the information that we're trying to give, that, like, oh, she's going through a metamorphosis, like, yeah, like, no shit, she's like a fucking insect, yeah. like, no one <clears throat> really thought about this, but, um, other than that, she was cool, and, like, when she had to die for Godzilla, you know, it, that was sad points. A bit, you know what? Points on points, because, you know what? Uh, just for the simple fact that she died for her, man. Plain and simple. She gave her life energy, her Hello. own radiation Hello. to Godzilla. That's why you see the glowing light go into Godzilla. That's why I was like, bruh. I don't think Godzilla is a man. Because every time he wa- he has no penis. And hey, you don't fucking know that. I do know that. <laughs> I, I, I paid attention in this movie. Everything was so bright. You can see the detail of his body. He didn't have a penis, man. That was a freaking lady monster. So you were looking for dick, huh? Uh, tell us how wild you're going to get. I might fuck you tonight, boo. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> no. I was trying to make sure if it was a man. I think that's a lady monster. Nah, I got guys was a dude. I they call they refer to him as a he in the movie, so he's a dude. But he ain't got one. Hey man, you can't fucking see his turtles, but like <laughs> fuck it. That's that's, that's <laughs> different. Godzilla, he should have a thing that's swinging like whoosh. whoosh. It should be swinging, bro. It is you. It's, I mean, look. If they was gonna go like sort of realistic, big, some, right? some big dick energy right there, just have it swinging. I mean, <laughs> hey, they're monsters, and they took a sort of realistic take with it. They weren't so goofy, but I was like, you might as well go all out with the with the design. But I'm not saying that's an L. What I'm saying is, might as well should have done it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you know, that, I'm, is, I'm not saying they had to do it. I'm just saying could have done it. Okay. Um, oh, this. What do you want to talk about? Next? Did you want to talk about the? All right, what you think about them showing all these monsters, and they tease us, but they don't do a battle royale. I expected a battle royale. Like, <coughs> dang, this heat. I expected it to play out like this. Mothra, she was clearly communicating with Godzilla, meaning. She can communicate with other monsters. Now, how I thought it would have played out, Idora was the alpha. He could have called and summoned, like, hey, <clears throat> all you guys, come to my side. And he only gets, like, two on his side. And then Mothra is able to get two on Godzilla's side. And they all go all out battle. I mean, <clears throat> I'm just saying, they could have either kept it Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, and Ghidorah. And took out the rest, or they should might as well should have gave us battle royale with all those monsters they showed us because I know for a fact we have Godzilla versus Kong after this. Those monsters they showed in this movie, we ain't finna see turtle, giant turtle monster go head up with anybody. True. Until for some time, I think they should have done the battle royale this movie and the next movie Godzilla versus Kong have it two of them, but. That's if they didn't have those monsters in this movie. If they didn't have the other monsters in this movie, I wouldn't have said that. Now, if they just had a Godzilla, Ghidorah, Rodan, and uh, Godzilla, I wouldn't really have no reason to say, make it a battle royale. But since they showed these monsters, and they showed them, they showed the monsters all, all around the world. They were trying to get to Ghidorah. I'm just saying, they took a while to get there. And they yeah. miraculously showed up at the end when Ghidorah is dead. Convenient, convenient. Even though that last shot was tight, when they was all when they all bowed down to Godzilla.
that shot was tight. Like the visuals, it was nice. And you can see his cracks and his crap. You can see the freaking uh uh cuts and stuff Ghidorah put on Godzilla, the bite marks, it looked nice. Yeah. Um especially <coughs> when all the monsters bowed down, like I kinda like the simple fact that Godzilla did not take a did not take a full revenge for Mothra. She he kinda just let Rodan just be himself, just like, I don't, think, I don't think he cared about Mothra like that. They wasn't uh, even doing tag team stuff like that. Like she, he didn't attack Mothra, but he was okay with Mothra giving him that boost of power to absorb how did it play out? When did he when did he got dropped from the sky? And he burnt up coming into the atmosphere. Is that when he gained uh, the the magma within his body? No, that was Mothra. Mothra gave him that ability. Yeah. I don't know how the Moth gave him that power, but hey, it's whatever. But like I don't know I don't it's, know it's how a, it was the same way how she was radiating <clears throat> light. To lead the humans where Gothra, uh, I mean, that, where Godzilla lived. Yeah. She, like, stood right on top of his house, and they just had the submarine go into a, to one of those tunnels. Yeah. Meaning yeah. she she knew what was up with the humans. She, yeah. she knew what was up with the humans. So she was, I guess, she knew the humans was going to somehow get a, get a nuke down there to him and blow him up and give him a power boost. Exactly. <clears throat> But, you know, I'm not saying I was bad. I'm just saying it's weird that she was able to give him that ability to shoot, to give off the sh- magma like that heat and just radiate that heat like that into explosions. I'd say that's a weird ability for her to give him. I think it would have been made sense if Rodan, if Godzilla killed Rodan and, I don't know, ate a part of eight, I don't know, Ate a part of his body, or or Mothra's like, oh my gosh, let me take Rodan's abilities and give it to Godzilla after Godzilla killed Rodan. Because in, in, in the past Godzilla movies, Rodan fused with Godzilla at one point, and Godzilla got Rodan's powers. <clears throat> Some of Rodan's abilities, if I remember it right. So I think what they could have done was Mothra, after they killed Rodan, which they didn't, but they could have, she goes over to Rodan takes his abilities, the mag the magma and stuff and gives it to Godzilla. But that whole Godzilla was an homage to the um Godzilla versus Destroyer movie when Godzilla went radioactive nuclear and he like died. So that was like an whole homage to that scene. Even though it looked tight though, he went from Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan God. He got Super Saiyan abilities when he that nuke hit him. Yeah. But the Super Saiyan God when he got the magma. That shit looked tight. I ain't gonna lie. Chopper right beneath me. Chopper right beneath me. What? Did he get more spikes on his back when that nuke hit him too? I have no clue. I was like. I was just tripping off the I mean, did visual he, features. Did he look different though? A little bit, yeah. He looked he looked more healed up. Like if yeah. he had scars, it would have been healed. I mean, it didn't seem like he had scars. It just seems like he looked different. Like it's something about him felt different. Like the skin, the spikes, they looked bigger. They looked like there there was more, and it looked bigger. Probably. After he got hit with that nuke and it to wake him up, I thought that scene was tight. Ken Watanabe, the guy who dropped off the nuke. Good old, I, I wish the him. movie was just about him. I wish the movie was about him and that Asian lady, bruh. Oh. They was the only two who cared about Godzilla dropping information. I wish the movie was about them. I would have been interested if the movie was just about them as the lead. Asian yeah. dude, Ken Watanabe, and the Asian woman. They was tight. I didn't... A lot of... Everybody else, it was like, man... But I really like Ken Watanabe and the Asian chick. Because yeah. they talked about Godzilla more than anybody else. And they gave us, they talked about Godzilla. And the whole background of the monsters. So I appreciate that. <clears throat> but that shot was tight. When he took the nuke into the uh, Godzilla's tomb, his sanctuary, his temple. Blew it up. And he was like, oh, um, 
Goodbye, See, my old friend. Goodbye, my old friend. Strange. It's like they met when they haven't. Well, like, for, I mean, I guess you're saying goodbye, my old friend. Like, hey, man, you like it's like this. Um, what's the best example? It all right. Let's say, for example, you're staying at this house, right? And there's this dog that isn't your precisely your dog, but he just keeps coming every week, and you just leave food outside your door, and the dog just keeps coming, right? And then one day, the dog doesn't come to your house. You walk up the street and you find out, oh my gosh, the dog, somebody hit the dog. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Turn this on. <laughs> oh, the, no, no. The, uh, the, 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 the dog <clears throat> slips and falls into something pointy. Let's say that. And then you walk over to the dog and then the guy's just like, oh my gosh, goodbye my old friend. Even though they wasn't friends friends i think it was something like that like we know he never went he never ever went in contact with godzilla like that yeah they didn't have no relationship but he was saying it like goodbye my old friend like you know you're we're not really friends but i loved your company but goodbye to you yeah yeah that's how that's how i kind of looked at it shouts out to dogs who uh stabbed themselves Shops out to dogs and stuff themselves. <coughs> Anything else you want to say? That likes, dislikes? Um, when Godzilla, like in the first fight uh, with Godzilla and Ghidorah, when he ripped off one of the heads and how that head had it grew back, it reminded me of, oh, kid, yeah. it reminded me of one of the fucking dumbass kids that <laughs> like, like once he, I wonder what a plastic bag would look on my head. And that's what I saw. I was like... <laughs> Oh, it looked <laughs> like that. It looked like that. You ain't lying. It did look like that. That tripped me out, though. I, I, for, I don't... I'm sort of not fresh on the old movies. But I'm not sure if Ghidorah can heal his head. I think that's new. I like it. But it made sense how he died. He had a healing factor. Now, I know people might say... Oh my gosh, she has a healing factor. How did he die? That's retarded. A bunch of people with healing factors have died. Let's use some anime, for example. <clears throat> Cell. He had a healing factor. Majin Buu had a healing factor. How did they die? Kamehameha Wave. How did they die? Kamehameha Wave. Because reason. When Goku hit Cell with the Kamehameha Wave, the blast radius... No, Gohan. His cell with the Kamehameha wave. The blast radius was so huge, cell wouldn't have no chance to grow out of that. Like the blast was so huge. Say for example, it was a, if it was a small beam and hit cell in his chest and it created a little hole, it'll heal. But for the blast to cover his whole body, swallow it up, there's and there's no pit leave piece of him left. He can't heal. Like there's nothing left to heal. He blew up. You evaporated. You blew up everything around it. Same thing for Majin Buu. Yeah. Blew up everything. Godzilla. That blast he gave off was consistently... It just melted his skin. Ghidorah had no chance to get away. The blast wasn't to where it hit him in one part of his body and it blew up. It was a big... It was a big blast that went... Knocked his skin off his body. And he couldn't run away from it. From it. He got hit with two. Godzilla walked over there, stepped on his stomach, and wrecked it. Yeah. And we also don't, we also can't forget Godzilla was walking around, and he was um those buildings were actually melting. melting. That's how that's how much radiation. That's how hot he was. The temperature. Fuego. <laughs> that he it that part looked tight. It looked tight. Yeah. Even though I... Look, this is what I wanted from the movie. I wanted Ghidorah to win. I wanted it to be where Godzilla loses. And the movie ends on a sad note. And then the world falls into a state of a apocalypse. Apocalyptic kind of thing. And Godzilla has to heal. Come back and reestablish that balance. I think the part where he, the guy went to blow up Godzilla... You could have saved that for a sequel of Godzilla coming back to rematch with um, Ghidorah. And then Ghidorah's, I don't know, 
let's say Ghidorah <clears throat> gets a power boost. I mean, he could have. We 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 seen Mothra share powers with Godzilla, but we don't know what those other monsters can do. We can't say Mothra is the only monster that can share abilities. True. Because what if giant gorilla mammoth thingy? That thing looked tight. What if giant gorilla mammoth thingy can give Ghidorah a power boost of his own abilities? Mothra yeah. did it. Look at the fucking tusks. <laughs> well, that would like, if you want to put it in that perspective, then what would Kong have if Godzilla... Uh, I don't know what Kong has. Kong better have powers. Kong's finna <laughs> lose, bruh. You that's was, a, that's, that's the point. You was right. What, what Kong's gonna lose. I don't know what he got. <laughs> All he got is boom, boom, boom. All he can do is punch. If Kong don't got no... If Kong is not shooting freaking electricity or something... Or shooting some freaking Kamehameha waves at Godzilla, he's not winning that fight. Godzilla might go freaking, uh, he might heat his body up so much to where he walks around Kong's island and kills all the wildlife. Probably. Probably. I see that. All I'm saying is, Godzilla versus Kong, Kong better, he, he ain't durable. That's a super suit, bro. <laughs> you better have that. Because <clears throat> I'll say this much. Remember in Kong Skull Island, I was not a big fan of Kong Skull Island. Okay. But I watched it for the action scenes, and I'll say this. The action scenes were nice. But that was it. And I like Kong's design. But I'll say this much. Remember when Samuel Jackson, they did that plan to take down Kong, yeah. and they burnt some of his hair? And I, <clears throat> I think, remember Kong, when he was fighting helicopters... They didn't shoot his hand, but his hand touched a helicopter blade and it got cut. His flesh is just flesh. So he can easily get gored by something. He can get gored by a tusk or whatever. Yeah. So Godzilla can easily bite. Dang, Kong's gonna lose, bro. Why are they why are they making that movie? <laughs> My man. point. Hey. That movie should not be made. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to be optimistic, man, but you know, um Kong die. Kong die. Maybe Kong He's a gorilla. Dude, you gotta give Kong some credit. What if Kong just because he's an infant, and you know, by the time like Kong and Godzilla grow, uh, like by the time Godzilla and Kong meet up, he's gonna be fully formed. Like he'd be like the <laughs> he'll he's like his parents. He'll well, that's the thing about Kong Skull Island that didn't make sense. But I'll run with the BS. But I'll say this much: in, in Kong Skull Island, <clears throat> the fact that that the mother. The the, the 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 queen or, I'm not sure if it was a male or female but the queen monster killed Kong's parents they were fully grown you're telling me little tiny Kong who's a teenager killed the queen or the king whatever it was yeah that's pretty much hmm that's it's the El Chapo of all gorillas Well, we'll find out in Godzilla vs. Kong, <laughs> but I'll say this now. Kong, the only advantage Kong has is the fact that he he has a body like, he he stands up upright like a human. <clears throat> well, apes stand upright too. But he has the advantage of being able to probably box. He can take his feet. I just see him like. Grab, grab Godzilla's mouth, slam it shut. And then go. Then he'll probably slam his face. He's probably gonna try to pull out the tongue or just open up Godzilla's jaw. Oh. Like in uh, Peter Jackson's Kong, that was a yeah. good movie. That, yeah. If he does that and wins, I'll be okay with it. I'll be okay. I won't be it. okay with that shit. <laughs> I won't be okay with that. Nah. You heard it here first. I would not be okay if Kong takes out Godzilla's tongue and Godzilla's done. Godzilla's going to atomic breath. A hole inside Godzilla's inside Kong's stomach, and he's dead. It takes one atomic breath, and Kong is down. Because it does not seem like the, these apes get durable skin when they get older. Because if that was the case, 
the parents should have been able to take down the queen skull skull crawler together. Okay. So I doubt he's going to get tougher skin, and it wouldn't make sense because the parents died, and they could have eased. They were fully grown. They could have easily soloed that skull crawler. So I don't know. They're gonna have to do something, and maybe Kong's falls into radiation. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he slips and falls in radiation and gets superpowers. He turns into a super ape. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's Godzilla movies, though. I mean, look. Godzilla movies, for the most part, you watch them to see monster fights. Yeah. And yes, they're going to have human stories either way. Some of the human stories are very dull. Some of the human stories are very good. Some human stories, when they primarily focus on them to ex- expediting information about the monsters or the monsters can fight, tight. Yeah. And some Godzilla stories, where they try to do things like, oh, you have this small story about this family here, and then you the, the other part is the monsters fighting. Nah. But for the most part, you're going to get humans in these movies. Yeah. You're, you're going to get humans. Now, it's a problem when they do things like... <clears throat> We're looking at the human perspective of these monsters fighting like the camp like we're looking at it how the humans in this scene are looking at it. We're not looking at it as two monsters on the screen, a big wide shot, and they're going it, it's not that. It's it's literally oh, cut to the scene. Humans, hurry up. Let's take over. Then monsters back to them. And yeah. then they do it again, wash, rinse, repeat. But I'll say for this part, this for the most part, this had more. This had better action scenes than Godzilla 2014. True. This had more action than Godzilla 2014. Uh, but I, I'm, not, I'm not saying Godzilla 2014 is trash. But I'm not saying it's great either. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, it's okay. And like for this movie, I might just say, it's okay for me. It's enough. I'm not saying this is the best movie with the best writing ever. I'm not. I will never say this is the best writing ever. This has enough to get by. It, it barely passed, but it was enough. It was a C minus. It was almost there. Okay. I would say it's that. A C minus. C minus. That's how I would look at it. You barely passed, but you somewhat passed. You at least got a C. Yeah. I wouldn't call this a D or F. I will call maybe Kong Skull Island a D or F. Maybe. I can understand that. For me, I still give it a B minus. Just because, one, Godzilla. Two, it kind of had to show a little bit of uh, respect to the old monsters. And, like, they had some new ones, which is pretty dope. And of course, like King Dora. Yeah, I like the original new monster designs, but they should have went Battle Royale if they was gonna show all these monsters though. Yeah. They teased us, man. I really want to see the giant white girl. man. How you tease me like that? Giant, I call that thing the giant white gorilla mammoth creature. Cause I don't know what it is. It is it is literally like a creature from Avatar: The Last Airbender. Two animals in one. Yeah. That thing was a giant mammoth gorilla. Yeah, pretty much. I rather I want to see that thing in Congo head up. He's gonna hit. He's gonna take those tusks uh, and kill Kong. <laughs> Godzilla and Kong. <laughs> those two motherfuckers. The mammoth uh, gorilla versus Kong, and Godzilla just a referee. He's just like. There you go. That it wins. I'd watch that. Because it, 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 it's an even fight. They both look like giant gorilla thingies. They're going to fight like giant gorillas. And But this creature here has mammoth tusks. And, got, and King Kong has to use his wits and not try to get gored by those freaking tusks. Yeah. That's how I look at it. What right. time we got here, man? Is there anything else you wanna you wanted to say? Anything else? No, nah, it's pretty good. How we how we how we, how we covered the majority of the bases in my short time. 
if we need to cover more, we'll do it over Discord. Other than that, we did pretty good. That's what I'll say. All right, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If there's anything else, don't share that peace, love, positivity all the time. Don't do drugs. Deuces.